matrix multiplication. We have to simplify that matrix times that matrix. Well, matrix multiplication has rules. Whereas you may remember from addition and subtraction, you just had to make sure that the dimensions are exactly the same and then you can add or subtract them. Well, this is different. The dimensions here are not exactly the same. You see, what we have is a two row by two column matrix. And here we have a one, two row and a three column matrix. What you do in order to make sure that you could do this problem is whatever the columns are for the first matrix and whatever the rows are for the second matrix, you have to make sure that they match. And if they do match, then your resultant matrix is going to be what the rows for the first one are and the columns for the second one. So we get a two by three. All right. So let me draw hopefully what I think a two by three is going to look like. Now, what you do from here, what you do from here, and let me actually scooch this over. I'm going to need the space. What you're going to get is you're going to get a two by three. So let me outline this out. I think that should be plenty of space. I might be cutting myself short, but we'll see. What you do is in order to get the first row, first column of this guy, you are going to multiply the first element of the first row to the first element of the first column of this guy. Notice how I split this up by rows and I split this up by columns. Well, you multiply these two together. Three times two is six. And then you multiply these two together. Negative three times six is negative 18. And you add them up. Okay. And then we repeat ourselves. So let me get rid of these red guys. Uh, look at that. Look at that very abstract art looking thing that I just did. First row, second column. You're going to take the first row, second column. Multiply the first two elements of each. Three times six is 18. And if you're like, didn't we already do the three? Yep. A lot of repetition with these. First element in each. And then you do negative three, the second element, times negative 15, the second element. I'm sorry, negative five, that becomes positive 15. That's where my brain went. And then you add those up. And then you just repeat that process one more time as I continue building this abstract art creation over here. Wow, wow, so pretty. Picasso ain't got nothing on me. Pretty sure Will Smith said that in a movie. Three times one is three. Negative five times negative, a regular four is negative 12. Add them up. And then we're done with the first row up here. In order to get to the second row, first column, a process, a very similar process is going to take place. You go to the second row in the first matrix now. And the first element in the first column over here and multiply those together. Six times two is 12. Then you do the same thing. Three times six is 18. Add them up. So a little bit of repetition is going on. All right, a little bit of repetition. Six times six is 36. We're now in the uh, second row, second column. Six times six is 36. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. So I could put plus negative 15, but nah, maybe I will for consistency's sake. And then I'm going to have to repeat a color. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 times 4 is positive 12. And then now it's just an exercise in simplifying. So we end up with our two by three, six plus negative 18 is negative 12. 18 plus 15 is 33. Three plus negative 12 is negative nine. 12 plus 18 is 30. 36 minus 15 is <coughs> 21. 
And 6 plus 12 is 18. So there you have it. This is matrix multiplication. And again, what you have to remember is the only way that you're allowed to do this is if you set up two by two, two by three. Oh, the inner numbers match, which means I'm going to get the outer numbers two by three. And then it's just a process of multiplying stuff and adding stuff and simplifying. So kind of complicated, but Avril Levine once asked us why would we have to go and do that. And sometimes the answer is because, because. Avril Lavigne, oh, she rocks hard. Like and subscribe.